Agnieszka says she'll make me the oldest barista champion. Yeah. Oh. Ooh. Um. Well, they're not chemists. This is the Dry Process Brazil, and it is a, uh, so it's not nearly as darkly roasted as here. So this got out of first crack and got dumped. How far do you take it past first crack? Well, this was dumped right at the end of it. Oh, okay. So it's actually, it's fairly lightly roasted, I think. Let's try not to get it all over the floor. And it's, oh, wait a minute. And it's a good deal uh, denser. Yeah, it's a lot lighter, isn't it? <laughs> looks good, looks good. Well, at least it's been cooked. So I think this has got to go a little finer, but I'm not sure. I'm gonna I'm gonna say it does. And I'm gonna. Oh, so it. it's actually. Uh, it's got. Uh, oh yeah, so it's got. Uh, oh, wow. Yeah, is it cool? Oops. Wow. Okay. All right, that's ready to go. This is ready to go. Okay make noises. Happy noises. Oh, okay, good, we're good. Yeah, there's a big difference there. We've got our Agtron color tiles. Oh yeah, for yeah. sure, for sure. Put on the safety. 45 thing. seconds makes a big difference in roasting. Right. Back, go, pull this guy out. I got two clean cups. I think we'll get a new paper towel one of these days. So I haven't even tried this yet. Oh, first time. Yeah, first time. I just put it in the jar and put it in. I mean, I've, I've made more other batches of it, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. But I haven't um, had any of this particular batch. Previous batches have been pretty low acidity, but I don't know what that'll feel like having been drinking your coffee. So we'll see. Okay. Ooh, look how fine that looks. That's really nice. So you would say pull it off at this point, wouldn't you? I think I would have, yes. But let's try, let's try. That's what we're here for, to try. Right, so I don't think this is going to have the body that your coffee has. But look, this is right at 40. Pop it off. Pull this out of there. And let's see what kind of garbage I make compared to you. <laughs> Much brighter. Yes. Maybe not as much body. No, it doesn't have as much body, that's but for nice. sure. Nice, but it's got a nice lightness to it. Citrusy. It's not, yeah, it's citrusy and not overpowering. Yeah, absolutely. Smooth though, very smooth. 
Like you got some of the ones that are out there that are really citrusy that are like very lemon like, bombs. Yeah, yeah, yeah I hate them. Not that. That's not very pleasant. This right. is this is pleasant. Nice. Okay. Nice. Very good. Very good. Different. Yes. Question is now. God, this is just going to be a rabbit hole. All right, let's. I'm going to make one more, and I'm going to make it on the EK grinder. Okay, great. Okay, and then I'm. We're, <laughs> I think that's enough coffee I've made in my basement for the afternoon. <laughs> That'd be awesome. All right, now this will be. Okay, this is going to be crazy. Oh yeah, so this here we go. Set like perfection. Oh, that is nice and clean. Yeah, that's real nice. What's the little blemish there? Any idea what that's from? Right there? Yeah. No, 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 this right here on the top of the puck. That Screen. Kind of... Oh, I bet it's right around the... Oh, just when you're pulling it out, probably. Yeah, I think that's my inexpertise. Oh, okay. All right, All right, wait a minute. There, you can tell the one light one in there. All right, let's go get the big jar out of the freezer All right. again. And this time it's going to the EK. All right, here we go. Over to here. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Through into the mall. So that didn't even have any pullback. Right, correct? not this time. So the Malcone is cleaner of a grinder than... No, so no? I think one thing that happens is when the oils come out of the coffee, it gets a little stickier. Oh, right. So okay. I think it gets harder. It, it's harder to manage when the coffees are darker roasted a little bit. Yes, yes. But static charge is always a problem. So, right, so I got over here, now I got to go back here, yeah, see, it's like one workflow versus the <laughs> other, right? Here's a question for you. Yeah? There's a little bit of like, if you look at this this, this uh, OCD, there's a little bit of coffee left on yeah, it. Yeah, I know there How is. much of a concern is that, do you think? It's only uh, like a tenth of a gram or so. Okay. So, yeah, it's, it, right, there's a little, but. All right, let's get this in. That's the little magic thing that we do. Why? Because the World Barista Championship rules say you have to. Oh! What happened? No pressure? What happened? Huh. What did I do? Oh, I know what I did. I bet I'm out of water. Oh. Oh. Well, that makes sense. We're just going to let that go. How about that? We're gonna have to do this again. Well, this would be interesting to taste it without any pressure, without any pre infusion yeah, at all. Look at that. There's something wrong here. Yeah. How about that? First time you run out of water? We'll see. How weird. How strange. Well, you hear that sputtering, so you, I think you're right. The water is, the reservoir is probably out. Yeah, let's go fill it up. Wow, we ran the whole reservoir out. How about that? And this is going to be a really short shot, too. But here we go. I'm just going to pull these out.
So should we taste? Yeah, it tastes. It tastes bad. I'm interested because I mean that's a it's a whole different way of going at it. Woo. It's thicker that, and that that yeah, but it's a little acidity is like very diminished now. Yeah, to me though, it tastes unbalanced. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can see that. But it's interesting how it, how the, uh, the 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 acidity has been diminished in this. Thing. I'm surprised they didn't have like some kind of. Well, I'm notification on the screen that you're out of water. Yeah, really. So normally it does, so I wonder what's going on if I've done something dumb or if I've broken it. I've broken it. Oh no. Did you have to fill it? I'm out of water. What happened? Uh, Weird. Yeah, it's really weird to have a uh, tank. It's like going back years <laughs> and years. Well, you know, you, you, how long has it been since you've had a consumer machine? Or a home machine, a machine designed for the home. How long? Mm. God. Of course, you've got the most rockin'est home machine on the planet at the moment. Yeah. This is the only one in America, is that right? Yeah. There's one in South America. I've seen pictures of it. One of my friends just got a GS3. Yeah? What did you think of it? Oh, he likes it, but he... I think he's going to want... <laughs> Mike Rosales, you probably want to get one of these now. <laughs> All right, here we go. Now. Let's... All right, here we go. Here we go. All right, we've got water in it. Yeah, so it should tell you, so let's see what's going on. Okay, that there seems we go. Okay. good. We're good. Let's... We're good. All right, let's do this again. I'm going to dump All this right. out. Let me go grab another SD. No. This back over here. Back over to oh, the... Sorry. Agnieszka says she'll make me the oldest barista champion. Oh, I'm all for that. So 2021, you gonna enter? God. Beat all these young kids at the USBC? I don't know if I could do that. I'll tell you what, my latte art just fucking stinks. Yeah, but it's not about latte art. I know, well. Let's see. It's just about the texture of milk. Yeah. And about understanding coffees. But those people are pretty amazing in what they do. Let's see if I can actually get this in here. I did it. Okay. Here we are. We got everything rolling. Okay. Come on you. Come, come. Come. Tight, isn't it? 
Uh oh, we have trouble in paradise. Uh, here it comes. All right. Oh, we're gonna make one more of these, aren't we? Oh, this is gonna take forever. Uh oh. It's falling down. Yeah, it's gonna be a. It's outside SE spec. Huh? So you know, the, the twenty yeah, to thirty second, they say. Yeah, but it, if you read this, uh, who's the guy? Petrachi. Petrachi. And uh, he's a guy who's a contributor to Elise's Science of Quality. Okay. Um, they have no problem going into the fifty-seven, fifty-second range. Yeah, in but, terms but of that's optimum not what the SCA pace. says. No, the SCA doesn't say that. <laughs> but um, what does Illy know over the SCA? Well, they did a lot of coffee research. <laughs> no, I yeah, I know. <laughs> the problem is it's all proprietary, right? We're going to have to do this again. All right. I'm going to back this up a little bit. But we should taste. Well, you can taste that, but I'm not going to taste it. I will taste it. I'm going to back this up to here. And then we'll see. Was it awful? I'm not yet. I don't know yet. I'm tasting now. Okay, you're going to taste it now. This is a super long shot. Ooh, brighter. Brighter, but sweet. Uh, and now I'm going to taste it. Alright, I'm not going to drink any more of that. <laughs> I'm going to make one more because you'd think I ought to be able to do this. Okay, that'll be good. We've made that. All right. So the reason this coffee pulls tight mm -hmm. is temperature. Because oh. I'm pulling it out of the freezer. The colder the coffee, the less it grinds, or the, the... Uh, it changes the uh, way it grinds. So there was a paper published on that, if you remember. You might. Who? Uh, I can't remember who. It was uh, some of the, of the Australian and English luminaries did this thing on. Um, you mean James? Not James. Uh, Kelowna dash what? But uh Well hey, what did the, what did the paper say? Well it was uh it, it uh it showed that you could influence the grind uh there was coffee got more brittle as it got Colder, okay. and so it, uh, particle sizes uh, and shapes change. So it's more f more prone to become f finer. Is that right? Or I'm not sure if that conclusion got drawn, but it was uh, it was partially it was this question about why does why do grind settings change in a coffee shop environment? Okay. Okay. And so temperature has been known, but they never actually quantified it. Okay. So the thing. Did they find any findings then, or? Yeah, they. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, they demonstrated that it was uh, that temperature had a big effect, and they um, there was a a little thing for a while where people were uh, freezing coffee and grinding directly out of the freezer because it was like the thing to do. Mm -hmm. And do you find a difference between letting your coffee that you freeze sit mm -hmm. as far as the performance of the flavor? Uh, no, but sir, not so much, but certainly if I don't adjust grinding, like if I, if I pull it out of the freezer and brew like the morning coffee so there's like how many coffee there's five coffees get made in succession here okay 
two for me, two for Casey, one for Annika. So if I let the coffee warm up, then the uh, extraction times go down, and of course, then the coffee tastes different. Huh. So yeah. But, so is that to say that the you want to grind finer when it's colder? Finer when it's warmer. Finer when it's warmer, okay. So let's see if I can actually do a good job of making this last thing. Let's tear those out so that we actually get something we want to bring. And let's put that. I'm not going to worry about a tenth of a gram. Here we go. Two, three. Okay, that actually looked good. Now let's see what happens here. Is it still too tight? Pretty tight. Oh, ah. It's still pretty tight, but it's... It looks okay now. So if it's in the low to mid 30s, I'll drink it. Oh, look at that, 35. <laughs> it's still gonna be a little on the tight side. But I'm gonna drink this one. Excellent. Okay, now this will be EK versus the other, if we can remember what the other one tasted like. And I prefer this coffee out of that grinder. Yeah, yeah, I do. I, if I remember correctly, we, this, this had an orangey flavor to it, is that right? Out of out that, that grinder, it had an orangey flavor, and this is a little brighter. I think it's kind of, I would describe it more like pineapple. The, the initial sip was kind of pineapple-y. But still sweet. I wouldn't reject it, but I like it out of that. Better. I agree. I agree with that. I agree with that. So there. How to confuse yourself in the world of coffee. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. Oh, my. Could I try pulling some shots on that? You may. I Absolutely. Will. Thank you. Oh, look at that. There he is. Okay, here's the clutch, this guy. Right. Don't let go of it until you you can feel it get loose when you, so right now it's not loose. If you let go of it, it goes kabang. Right. When you are brewing your shot and pre-infusing, when you let the lever up, you'll feel, you'll feel looseness in, in here in the notch. Oh yes. And then you can let go of this guy. So there's a learning curve. You'll figure okay. it out. Makes me kind of nervous. It'll be all right. <laughs> all right. Oh. oh yeah. Here. Thank you. Out it goes. What a nice clean paper towel. Beautiful. Yeah, whichever. Okay, so okay. Oh, so right, let's see. Right here. So yeah, so this guy just shove it up in there. So don't do that, right? That's how to get it all over the counter. Just slide it in there. All right, slide it in, and then this starts it? Yep. So you start it before it. you put the oh, Yeah, I start it before I don't you have put to hold the, this. Right, you don't have to hold that. Wow. That's a different way to work. Yeah. Oh yeah, you're gonna This is gonna be fun. <laughs>
Now I will tell you, don't put your finger on the bottom of that cup. Oh, right, so it up. Gotcha. Yeah, that's how you put it all over the floor. Gotcha, gotcha. Now there's also a lever here, you said? Yeah, a little right? whacker lever up. Higher up? up? Yeah, just give it a little... There you go. Almost did that. Right, and just set it down. Put the top on. As long as you hold the top on, you're safe. And then I should be... Sh Shake it in a circle. In a circle. And then whack it on the counter once. Just once? Yeah, once is good. Okay. And then now we go to the portafilter? Right, you bring the portafilter. Put it on top of the portafilter. Oh, yeah. it's, it's, it is just cut a little bit loose. So what I would do is I would put the whole portafilter up there. The whole thing. There you go. Then hold it down on it. Take the top off. Grab that little ball thing and then twirl and then, it around. While lifting it up? Yeah. Give it a... Yeah, you just... There you go. See how that works? Am I supposed to knock it like that? Or? Well, yeah, it works. Yeah. Okay, then take the whole thing and shake it. Yeah, so you get it down. Oh, it really is a whole different way of doing it. Yeah, the workflow is really different. Now, this is aluminum? Yeah. Yeah. Is there any kind of concern about aluminum denting under, like, the pressure of a commercial environment? Oh, uh, you know, that's an interesting question. I would say in a commercial environment, probably. Like, because, you know, I mean, your braces are going to... Right, because you're going to bang it, they're going to toss it around. Right, I know. So, here are all the oh, traditional oh, tools. Right, right. The OCD. So, do you use one of those? No, not really. You just... I have one. Like, I've got... I've got a knockoff one. Yeah. Um... Mainly because I, I bought the knockoff because I wanted to try it without necessarily having to put the investment in one. So, yeah, so workflow in a bar, I think it's another step, which that is a pro. You know, I mean, all those steps, you got to weigh them, right? The nice thing is that you don't have to... Right? right, you don't have to do any of that shit. Wow. Right, and you don't waste... I mean, you, you know, if you waste 15 20% of coffee, it's a lot of money going. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Okay, now we're gonna okay, brew. So now, right? So, portafilter in. Oh, do you have to flush, right? You know, so I'm not convinced you do. Okay. You can. All right. Let's so, try that. so yes, yeah, so if you're gonna flush, so you, you have, have to hold it in the hold the clutch. clutch in place. Yep, down. Yeah. And that's it, right? Yeah, that's it. Okay. Okay. And then we will... So pick like the oh, third okay. one. So you have to you pull it to where you want it to yeah. go. Engage and the then clutch. Engage the clutch, then pull down. Pull down. We don't have a, a pump again for some reason. Oh, yeah. Okay, so what I would do is I would gently let up, keep the clutch in place. Let it up. And you can feel... Oh, yeah, right there. It's starting to get Right, resistance. now you can let go of the... Uh, of the that guy. There you go. So we don't have a pump behind it, and I wonder why huh. that is. It's coming up. It is coming out nicely, though. Coming out fine. So the pump's only there for the pre-infusion. Right, so but just see, pre -infusion. yeah, but see, our pressure is uh, artificially low here. Oh, yes, yes. Yeah, so what the hell is that about? Hmm. Why have we got that going on here? I'm going to have to call them up on Monday. Now, if I was to pop this off, it would then drop the whole yeah, thing, Yeah, see, because right? you have two, still have two bars of pressure in there. Huh. That's really weird. That is weird. We've broken it. Actually, I am going to call them on Monday and ask them why that's going on and what i got to look for. Now, I wonder if it would turn on if you press this. That's the uh, hot water. Right. Would that turn on then? I don't know. Try it. Yep, sure did. So why did huh. it turn on with that? Maybe there's a whatever's actually there's a in micro here. switch here that I bet. I wonder if it's like those. Remember when, when the uh, the Strata first came out for the lever, the the paddle groups that had that pressure pad. Yeah, those were pretty. Those had a lot of those problems. Those were finicky. Initially. Yeah, maybe it, there's something similar yeah. to that with this. I don't know. Well, the pressure's down. I think you can probably pull that out and let's. There's still there a little are, bit residual still pressure. a little bit, yeah. Is there normally that much residual, like one bar pressure left? No, that's not normal. So I'm going to run this for a second. Oh, there it is. There it is. 
It, it's you. It senses maybe, you. Maybe I think it is. I think you're right. Because look. Huh. It, maybe it senses my trepidation. My like, you know, I'm not ready for well, the, perhaps, the big time. Well, perhaps. But see, there. So there is this micro switch over here. Oh, right. And I think that's... That's the actuation, right? That's the actuation. So let's watch that while I run this. If I run it really quietly... Maybe it's missing it at some point. Yeah, maybe. I wonder if the micro switch itself is bad. Oh, that could be. That could be. I mean, I can't think of anything else. You know, because it works with everything else, right? Yeah. But it's... Hi, do you mind if I do one? Well, hell yeah, go, right, next go next for time. it. There's another one sitting there. Tell me... Uh... What's the bigger, the black button? The for? speed control. Oh, okay. Oh, I have to click it. It's a little, it's not much of a click, is there? No, no. I, I'm I, when I watched it, was I watching it earlier, I thought it was a lot bigger. Yeah, you know, it kind of feel like you ought to have like a two by four that you put <laughs> next to it to whack it with. Yeah, that's what I thought you were kind of doing, just up and down motion rather than yeah, the no. little right. flicky thing. All right, now you got to give it the twirl, the twirl of, here, let me get down to where I can, the twirling action is happening. There it is. There it is. That even looks like a valve on a car, right? It does, it does. Looks like an engine valve. Or that top from uh, Inception. Yeah, for all you motorheads out there. Okay. It's right. an intake valve because it's on the oh, intake yeah, whole, side. Like, what? That whole, like, the, the valve working. Yeah. And so, yeah, that's pretty level. That's nice. Yeah, that. Uh, Is there a certain amount of time you're supposed to turn this around? Clockwise three and counterclockwise one. You're supposed to do counterclockwise as well? No, it's bullshit. Oh. <laughs> you know, I see as you know, since I'm judging a lot, I see people use this, and I see them just all kinds of like. Well, you know, I'm just crazy. spin it. Well, I mean, but I, some of them are just like spinning it without any like. Almost without any control. Oh. Gosh, so clean. So that's so different. Yeah. Yeah, it's like you don't have that shit flying everywhere in your place. It is a very different workflow. It is. Yeah, it takes a while to get used to it. Okay. Okay, you're good. That worked that time. We are good to go. It's it's kind of strange because you really have to let go of the clutch as you rotate it up. Yeah, keep That's your hand, good. keep the clutch on when you rotate it up. Don't. Um, I think when you're first learning the machine, your sense is to let it go, and you. Yes. Okay, so third, you said. Yeah, third seems pretty good. Let it up. There you go. Okay. Yeah. Oh. It looks now. a little bit fast. Oh, we did change the grind setting. Yeah, well, also we have here, if you look at your... I think we're done. Oh, there it is done. Okay, good. Yeah, well, so here, how 22. do I... How do I uh... Zoom in? No, you want to... Oh, are you just letting this thing run? Oh, you can let it run. Okay. So see your pre-infusion? Oh yeah. Yeah, see. So you can control, this is... Oh yeah, so what I do is I've been holding it down for three seconds and then just gently, and then letting it, then raising it up. So, so this is showing me that I've just let it... That's or showing I... you the, yeah, that's showing you the profile that you have for pre-infusion. And no, comparing it to the one that's stored in the machine. But the one that's, bef so the, the gray part, it's, it, the pressure starts later. So what does that mean? Does that mean that I'm just holding so it? So when you brought it down, uh -huh. you brought it down pretty slowly. So bring it down quicker. Wait 
about three seconds and then bring it up and bring just it up bring quicker. okay then bring it up quicker but don't let go of the clutch until you feel it then you'll get a different extraction so time. The, even the attack of your pull makes a difference yeah wow okay yeah I so yeah that. it's completely manual well wow, i didn't have any idea that that really was how it affected the uh that the way the, the way you pull the attack on the lever really makes a difference that's so I think in the years that people did uh, pressure, all the pressure profiling stuff. I look, I've, you're going to laugh at my video. Um, <laughs> when people did all the pressure profiling experiments way back, and uh, um, Marzocco was first fooling around with gear pumps and stuff. Right. Yeah, that seems good. All right, we're good. Okay. I'm going to hand this to you. Okay, very good. And I'll weigh some coffee out for you. Okay, very good. They figured out that the pre-infusion portion, that first few seconds, really was the biggest nut in pressure profiling. Oh, okay. I think that, I think that's the general consensus. And... Um, I don't get to do it that way very often. <laughs> so, um, so uh, learning to um, learning to manage that first few seconds with this machine is uh, has a lot to do with how it comes out later. Okay. Wow. But it gives you a lot of control over the finished product. That is for shit sure. Yeah, so it's so using the lever really means that you kind of have to learn a whole other way of making espresso if you if you've never used. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So you came over here and like all your years of running your shop are different. Yeah, it's like well, it's it's like different workflow entirely. But also, you're like, you know, you can calculate your coffee usage down to, you know, the percent level, right? Yes. Which means that you get a better handle on your co on your costs, and that, like, to me, there's like a moral aspect of what you get out of coffee, mm -hmm. you know, both from wastage and what you're extracting out. You know, because if the crop's finite, which they say it is, and even diminishing in places where farms are being sold off. Right, right. And as climate change comes. Right, all that stuff is, uh, is uh, you know, oh, okay. it's screwing up, you know, we have a finite amount of coffee and we have to make the most of it in every aspect of the thing. And plus, if you're a shop, I mean, coffee costs, where does that figure in your, um, you know, coffee wastage as far as what things cost you? Right. I mean, people probably cost the most, right? Absolutely, absolutely. But let's say your 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 cost on average maybe is a dollar per double shot, with including labor and everything for it. But it's still, so, you know, if you can, if your if your shots are twenty one grams, but you're burning four grams a shot or three grams a shot. You know, you can. How much more can you recoup if you can manage your your waste like this? Yeah. So what is so now? What is cost? So what is coffee costs on as raw coffee at the scale you buy? What does it cost you about four oh, to five dollars? Oh, it costs us. Well, it depends. We've gotten this. I mean, we can get coffee down to like two seventy five. Okay. So two seventy. But for us, it, uh, most coffees range between three to six. Three to six. So let's say it's five per pound, mm -hmm. and you, that's uh, 22 20 gram shots. Right. It's 454 grams. Yeah, so 22 of them. What's five divided by 22? Five. To, oh, good question. Five pounds? Yeah, five dollars. Oh, five dollars. Twenty-three cents a shot is your coffee cost, but if you lose, yeah, so it's not that much. 
per sh uh, well what's but across a thousand shots that's yeah well to be able to what do you sell a coffee for uh espresso three dollars three dollars so it's ten percent mm -hmm. and of the cost and if you waste Let's say 20% three grams, of yeah. that, yeah. It's substantial. Absolutely. Like, it's interesting, when I first started to really get that, was early in my career, I was going down to, uh, to Portland. And Stumptown, one of the locations that guys were telling us, oh, we're, we're using 100, grand, 100 pounds of espresso a day. But they only, I forgot the number, but they only made so much money. Then we went up to Artigiano, when Vince was still running it. Mm -hmm. And they were like, yeah, we, we do, like, something like, 70 pounds a day and we're making this much money for revenue and they were at the, about the same level but their management of their waste was so much better so basically at the time Stumptown was burning 30 percent of their coffee just through waste wow yeah it was like crazy i was like wow that's we have to really manage that all right all right let's give it a try so yeah you, do you mind again oh thank no you thank you thank you Nice to have a photographer with you. Well, we'll see. A competent photographer. <laughs> <laughs> so that just slides in. Okay, that slides in. Yeah, I'm gonna head over to okay. Yeah. Turn that on. This is compelling video because you don't see anything, you just hear this noise, right? <laughs> right. The lid, the safety lid. I wonder how many people actually like put their fingers on the bottom like you're saying. I did it. I mean, it really, it, you really want to. And like, when I, and when I wrote them and told them I did it, I said it was, they laughed at it. <laughs> they were like, yep, everybody. Yep, everybody <laughs> does it. But they laugh because I made a joke about it too. So, <laughs> where are they based out of? Um, Australia, I think. Oh, Australia. But I think one of the guys is Canadian. Okay. So. Yeah, it's you know what for me is as, as a it makes me worried like this whole like aluminum like will it take all the beating, or you know it, will it stay attractive looking? Well, uh, so I was wondering whether it ought to be made out of some kind of plastic. Oh, plastic. Like, uh, would it be cool, like if it was Delrin, you know, which would maybe live longer? I don't know the answer to that, yeah. So you like these, the, what are these, these are the Pullman, you like the Pullman tampers? That's the Vince's tamper, uh, Fidelis, that's a VST one. I like the oh, flat really? ones. The flat ones? Yeah. All right, here we go. Okay, here we go. Okay, so flush first. I guess. Yeah, so I, I actually haven't even done the measurements to tell you if that's needed or not. Okay. All right. So this right, so time, put the cup in uh -huh. underneath there. Attack has Engage the clutch, and three, and pull it all the way down. All the way down. Now look over there. One, two, three. Let it up. Up, 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 up. Up, take the clutch off. Now you got a different looking extraction. Yeah, probably much thicker. Yeah. Oh, again, it, the, it, even the, the... Yeah, so you have a pretty long pre-infusion on this one. So this, where, where it's gray here, that's where it's flat and gray, that's where the pre-infusion is? The so the flat the so the gray yeah the flat part in the front of that gray is my pre infusion. So when so this part where it jumps up on the blue the blue that's your pre infusion. That's when you start to push it back up or when you pull it back down. When you no, pull that's down. when you were let yeah when you're letting it up the pressure will go up. So th does this mean that I'm retarding the pressure as well? Yes. So yeah. So oh. I would bring it up a little quicker. Yeah, because as, as you were saying push it up, I was like, oh, am I supposed to go fast? Oh, wow. Now bring okay. it up quicker, but don't let go of the clutch. Right, okay. okay. Okay, wow. 
Now let's see what we got. Here comes the COVID moment. That orangey kind of thing is back. Well, no, that, that's... Yeah, so my, my experience with this machine is if you pre-infuse too long, I don't like the way it tastes. Yeah. Yeah, that's not as rich as it was when we were doing the other shots. So for me, it seems like about three seconds is about right. So pull down and then push up. Right. Okay. Well, pull down, pull down, mm -hmm. watch this guy, get, watch this graph, count here, count okay. to three, one, two, three, and then let it up and let the cut off once it's up. Okay. 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 We're on it now. Okay. Whoop. Let's go over here to the interesting thing. Not much happening <laughs> over here that you can see. So... Now I have to say it does feel like it takes a little bit of a, a, a little bit long to grind the, the twenty to twenty grams. Yeah, so I haven't tried cranking up the motor on that thing. How fast will it go? I don't know. We could find out. Oh, okay, okay. Oh gosh. Better put the top on. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm a, and I'm, I want to. Yeah, you want support to support it with yeah. my finger there. Right, you do. Okay. Looks pretty good. Oh, look at okay. that. Now here comes the. Ooh, look at that. Oh. Am I supposed to tap it or just shake it? I shake it a little bit. Yeah. Help settle it. And we're going back to this. Pull down and then up fast. Yeah, okay, put this thing in there. Okay. In case you clutch down, now one, two, three, now up. Yep, and then let off on the clutch. There you go. Yeah, look at the difference. Oh, yeah. How about that action? And now, if we go and look at the graph. The graph is. Graph looks different. Sure does, but how's your coffee looking? It's nice and thick. It looks thicker. Look at the the, the, yeah. the the dark crema. Right. See, I like that. How about that? That's a very different look. And yeah, That's see how different. much. Huh. It didn't really record that, or did it? No, it didn't really record that, although you certainly had everything there to record. Hmm. Hmm. That is a nice shot, though. Look at that. Wait a minute. Let's get in there and check that shit out. Oh my! The reddish brown crema. Mm. That's like classic. All right, into your drinking hole. Try not to breathe this one. That's a tip. Thank you. Thank you. More cocoa notes. All right. Definitely heavier, thicker, more body. Cacao, some sweetness. That's quite different than the last one, quite. Yeah, it's amazing how much you have to do with it now. Yeah, this is really, like, you know, with most every other machine, you're just kind of like pushing it in there and it comes out and you go, yeah, now, now you're heavily invested in the process. So it, the question, I guess the question is, does, is, that, a, is that better? From a, from a perspective of like, you know, getting consistency so the in a cafe environment? Yeah, so my personal opinion okay. is if you do everything right yes. in any of these machines, you'll get a stellar result as long as you've roasted the source coffee is good you've done the job roasting right right yes you'll get what you want and here 
you have more tunability than you have over there with the um, with the automatic machine, right? Right. So you're more involved in what comes out of this guy. Which, 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 which means that you can screw it up or you can do things with this that you can't do with that. Right, right. So with that, there is one pre-infusion uh, scheme. Don't worry about it. It'll look more normal. <laughs> I did mop it this morning. So there's one pre-infusion scheme with this guy, with that guy, Oriander, wait a minute, Oriander, mm -hmm. right? Temperature control is really good, but there's one pre-infusion setup, and that's gonna, that works pretty well, but you can't change it. Right. Right? Easily. So with the Strata, you can change it, mm -hmm. right? Because you can run it on the top, you know, the way you, you can run the paddle, right? Right, right. But there is something to the way this pushes the water through. It does it differently than the Strata. And I don't have enough experience with the Strata to tell you one way or the other, and I don't have the measurements. Right, right. Maybe I haven't had much, much experience with it either. Right. So eventually, I'll have the me I'll I'll make some measurements on this, and I'll and I'll know what the temperature is, and I'll know. Oh. I'll cut coffee cakes apart and I'll start doing that and look and figure it out and see what's different about it that I can tell. Okay. Um, so you said this adjusts the, the, the... Oh yeah, yeah, turn the dial up if you want. Make it go... Yeah, how yeah, high will some, it go? Wait a minute, let's does get it the number. Does it rotate? Yeah, just rotate it. Ooh, look at that. Is any particular reason you chose 700? Yeah, I don't know. That just because they said that. How far will it go? Hey, it sounds like a centrifuge. I wow. I think it'll come out the top. Look at that. I don't know. I just figure slower is probably better in terms of heat. Oh, right. Oh, so max 1800. Yeah, it kind of doesn't like that. I think we'll just go to 1000. 1000? Sure. Right. That's interesting. All right, here we go. All right, here we, here go. we go. He's okay. got the thing in there. Here it comes. <laughs> yes, definitely faster. Definitely faster. So. There it is. I don't know if there's much difference in that, but... Give it a shake. Here we go. And Ooh, look oh. at that. Here comes the valve action. Well, it's hard to tell. Oh, are you sh more shaking? Now I feel like a barista competitor. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because you see this and you wonder what the hell it is. How many people bring EK-43s? Uh, only the rich. Only the rich. So Agnieszka Rajuska, mm -hmm. she won with an EK, I believe. Yeah, yeah so you're losing a little more to the um, that little distributor device, I think. But that's oh, and oh, in here. Yeah. But I don't think that's any, you know, that's whatever. A poor technique. Well, it's it's a technique in progress. <laughs> okay. That sounded good. Yay, hooray. Here we go. This is super exciting. Okay. Third notch. Yep, down. One, two, three, gently up. Okay, there you go. Oh, look at that. Okay. Now, oh, and if you look over there, why are you not recording huh. pressures? That's very interesting. That doesn't make oh, any wow. sense at all. Huh. That makes no sense. What the hell is that about? 
And that one could finish pretty fast, 17. Yeah, but you know what? The pressure never went up either. What the hell is that about? Is it that it didn't go up or just not recording it? That's interesting. I don't know what the answer is to that. I mean, it has to have gone up because it, it pushed yeah. the, sh the shot out. So Yeah, it sure did. I don't know what to say there. Can't you need to send a new calling. machine? Huh? Can't you need to send them a new machine? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really. I think I need to call them on Monday. Well, that's really thick looking, at least. Yeah. Can we turn this off? How do I of turn course, this yeah, off? Of course, you just press that button. Press this button. Yeah, it's interesting. I'm just a geek engineer in the base. <laughs> interesting, I don't know these. It's like a wonderland.